Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to a die cutting fun video. I am going to showcase the latest release by Alte New. This is just a standalone die release and you will find lots and lots of different categories, something for everyone. This video is actually part of a blog hop. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there where you can find lots of inspiration as well as how you can enter the giveaways. And before I go ahead and make a couple of cards, let's take a look quickly on what has just been released. First of all, you will find this modern fireplace. You can put together a lovely fireplace which is quite big, so it's going to make a good focal point on the front of your card. You have a mantle, you will get the fire, the logs, everything you need to create a fireplace. And now there is this die that you can use it separately or you can use all the elements included to decorate the mantle and the front of your fireplace. So you will get stockings, a bow, a wreath, even candles. Next, let's take a look at a, a couple of alphabet die sets. These can be used separately or you can combine them by sticking one on top of the other. They have a pretty good size for a card and they are quite big so you can use them on scrapbooking or other projects. I know I will be using them on my art journal. So these are the Linear Pathway Alpha die set, the solid and the outline set. And I am going to use both of them today so you can see them in action. Since I do get the whole release by Altenew, I think it is quite helpful to see the products in actual projects so you can pick your favorites and make sure to visit the blog hub since you will find there tons of inspiration. And now let's take a look at a brand new collection. These are called layered gift tags. You get two dies on every one of those packages and they are quite big so they make a good gift tag. You can layer them together and one of the dies gives you a sentiment, that is die cut. So you get a gift, there is a little onesie for uh, newborns, there is a heart, a cake that you can use for anniversaries, for weddings or even birthdays and finally a graduation hat. And remember, you can use those as gift tags, but also as focal points on the front of your cards since they have a good size. Now, this is the lacy panel die. It is a square die with a lovely intricate design of small flowers. Use it as it is to nest on top of your flowers or other focal points, or you can even use it as a stencil. And let's take a look on some uh, die cut sentiments. These are the essential sentiment strips die set, and it includes eight different dies with sentiments that are for pretty much any occasion. So you get from happy birthday, here for you, just because, happy anniversary, hung in there, proud of you, so grateful. And finally, this is the happy holiday script die set that gives you a big size of a sentiment that says happy holidays, perfect for your uh, holiday cards. And of course, you can't have an Altenew release without flowers. So these are the dies for layering flowers. These are amazing. They are huge. And you can create four different flowers using this one. This is called Jumbo Garden Picks Layering Die Set. But there is a fun thing about this die. All the layers are connected, which is going to make creating all these flowers super easy and very quick. I'm going to use this first Jumbo Garden Peaks die set in the, my first card for today and you will see how quick and simple creating all those beautiful flowers is. The fun part about uh, using these uh, connected dies is that they fit on the mini blossom die cutting machine. So if you have that small one, it would fit there and that means that they, they would fit on the gradient cardstock by Altenew. And here is another set creating a different uh, uh, look of flowers. This is the watercolor garden layering die set. Again, the dies are connected if you check at the bag and uh, they have even less layers than the previous die set. And you can create gorgeous flowers with just two or three layers. So for my first card, let's play with this jumbo die set. So the way these work is by using four different colors of cardstock. I go monochromatic all the way from darker to lighter. And if you want to make your job easy, you can uh, play with the gradient cardstock packs that Altenew has. And um, it's the same thing for the leaves. There you have just two layers. So first of all, I'm going to bring in some green cardstock in two shades. And I don't have to browse all around different dies and try and decide which one goes where. Everything is connected, so I know that this layer goes on the darker shade of green. Now, let's move on to the lighter one. Again, I have here three connected leaf branches. 
I am securing everything down with a piece of washi tape as I cut out the cardstock that I need. And again, remember, you can uh, pass them through your mini blossom die cutting machine if you like. I'm just using large pages of uh, cardstock that I have here. And uh, I am going to run them through my Gemini since I can run lots of them at one passing. And notice that I keep the packaging close to me since I can tell easily which layer goes on which cardstock, all the way from darker to lighter. And here is my Gemini platform. I'm going to place three of them down there. And I do have one more layer for the flowers and the two layers with the greens. And you can cut out some tiny ones that are also connected from yellow just to create the centers of your flowers. And here they are, all ready to go. I did put together the leaves, super easy, just uh, the dark on top of uh, light green. And then you can notice that uh, they are different in size and in shape. So that makes it super easy to try and pick which goes on top of which one. So you can see here how I put together the flowers. I try to make the layers first, make sure that they fit nicely, and then I will just go ahead and glue everything together. If you notice for the second flower that I'm making now, it has only three pink layers without the darker one. Now let's move on and uh, put together the next ones. Now probably when you see those flowers, they look familiar to you and that's because they do have in Altenew another die set with the exact same designs. However, these are enlarged. And the fact that the dies are connected really make it quick and simple as a method since you don't have to look through a ton of dies and find out which one is for which layer. And now since I know which layer goes where, it's just a simple matter of putting these together with glue. If you want to make it fluffier, of course you can use some foam tape at the back which is going to make it uh, three-dimensional. However, I don't feel the need to do that since by layering thick cardstock one on top of the other, you do get dimension. Remember these are four layers of cardstock, one on top of the other, so this is going to end up looking as a chipboard element, lovely for focal points. Once you have the leaves and flowers together, you can put them together on a flower composition at the front of your card, stick and sentiment on top and you have a lovely card for pretty much any occasion. However, I decided to show you a more complicated look. I decided to go more vintage for this card and that's why I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink to ink up the edges. My panel is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half and I started with a craft colored cardstock. I am inking up the edges of the leaves and the flowers as well. Since I'm going for a vintage look, I don't want them to be super bright. However, I don't apply the ink all over the place, just on some edges here and there. I am going to add some white splashes on the background and for that I'm using an Altenew spray and this is pure white. I'm going to leave this aside to dry and in the meanwhile, I will prepare my sentiment. For that I went with So Grateful and this is from the Essential Sentiment Strip die set. I die cut it from glitter cardstock and you can use this or the letters and you can use the outline as a mask so you know exactly where you are supposed to stick the letters. For this project I'm not going to use the letters however and just to help that phrase to stand out against the background I'm going to use a black cardstock so I can stick this on top and cut it all around. This way you will be able to see what's written even better. Now it's time to put my card together. I have a black panel and I did trim this craft panel to be slightly smaller so that I will end up having a black frame all around. I did die cut out of white cardstock this burlap texture die. This is one of my favorites from previous release and I keep using it again and again. I find it is the best background for flower compositions. Now I'm going to show you how I put things together. For this flower composition I want to create a visual triangle. So on the two opposite corners of my card I'm going to stick the leaves. This way I have divided the card front into two triangles. On the top triangle I'm going to fill it in with my flower composition and uh, for some of the flowers I'm going to use a foam tape at the back to add some dimension while for others I'm going to use my liquid glue and tuck them underneath. 
So I kept the big flower as the main focal point and everything will go underneath that one. So this way I used all four flowers and all three uh, leaves that I die cut using all the layers from the die set. Now by having this flower composition I end up having an area at the bottom where you can see lots of that burlap. So that element is there too, I didn't cover it up completely. Plus I do have a space where I can stick the sentiment on top without covering up too many of the beautiful flowers. For that I need to make sure that this is nice and leveled, that's why I'm going to use some foam tape on one side of uh, the label and then on the other side I'm going to use glue and stick it on top of the top flower. All that's left to do is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. You can embellish the card if you like with nouveau drops or some gems here and there. I just love the look and I'm not going to touch it anymore. And you can see here some close-up photos. For my next card I'm going to use bits and pieces from the mantle decor. Now this gives you this lovely wreath as well as a bow and it is perfect to pair it with a modern fireplace if you want to decorate that. However I'm going to show you that you can use it for other cards as well without using the fireplace. And I'm going to pair it with the linear pathway alpha die sets, both of them, both the solid and the outline. So you can see them in an actual project. I am going for a Christmas card and I did die cut the wreath out of green cardstock and I don't know if you can notice but there are some dots all around that they are embossed when you run it through your die cutting machine. So I did cut out the bow first which I'm going to stick at the bottom of my wreath and uh, I did use red cardstock and I did use the same colored cardstock to cut out the letters and I'm going for a ho 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 card here where I will exchange the middle O with the wreath. And just because this is going to take up quite of an area to fit on a card, I decided to go with a slimline card, which are trending after all lately. Now I die cut the letters, the solid ones, out of red cardstock and the outlines out of glitter white cardstock. It's really hard to catch the shine on camera, but it's going to give a highlight on the letters. I'm going to stick all together and for that I'm using my uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue. This gives me uh, some window frame to slide those letters one on top of the other until they are perfectly placed together. Plus, if I have a little bit of glue coming out of the top layer, this is not a problem. It's going to dry completely clear and you will not be able to see any mess. Another way to go is to use some uh, double-sided tape before you die cut them and turn them into stickers, but I don't know if you can have the perfect placement then, since you will not be able to slide them one on top of the other. I am going for a very traditional colored uh, themed Christmas card. For that I chose to go with a panel that is uh, dark green. I am going to add some tone on tone details on top by using this slimline uh, stencil with those uh, lines. If you don't have a slimline stencil then you can use any other stencil that you have and just move it all around to cover up the bigger area. And I love how the stress oxide ink stands out against dark cardstock colors. Notice that on this background I added the lighter stripes. So now it's time to put my card together. For the wreath I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and uh, pop it on the card and then for the rest of the letters I will go with my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. And I'm using a ruler to make sure that they are completely straight and they are nicely aligned. On the wreath there are some dots embossed while die cutting it. You can embellish them with your Nouveau drops, you can add some enamel dots there. I decided to go with dots of glue and then on top I'm going to stick some red gems. Now I have a red panel that's 3.5 by 8.5. And I'm going to stick my green panel on top. Notice that it is about a quarter of an inch smaller than my actual panel. And I am going to show you now how I create my finished slimline card by using a white letter-sized cardstock. I'm cutting out my cardstock at 7. So this is 7 by 8.5. And, and then I'm going to score at 3.5. 
Now all I need to do is to fold my card and then reinforce the scoring line with my bone folder. And I ended up having a slimline card that's 3.5 by 8.5. And, and this is the size that I like to create. Now, if you like the look, you can leave it as it is. If you love splashes, then you can add white splashes all over the place, like I'm going to do here. And I did make sure that I'm not going to cover up the letters or the wreath at the center. So I'm going to add lots and lots of splashes. It is going to look as if it is snow. And this is going to be the finishing touch for my card. Don't forget that this video is part of a blog hop as we celebrate this release. Make sure to visit my blog and find out all the details on how you can enter the giveaways. You will find their links to the rest of the blog hop so you can get lots and lots of inspiration by looking at the products in action. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day.